<laughs> look, look, he got his. <laughs> hey, what's going on? It's your boy Intel with the Intel, and we are getting ready to do a video watch along slash review for the book of Bubba Fett, chapter three. I think this one is called The Streets of Mos Espa. Hmm, so it looks like maybe we can get some street combat kind of thing going on. I, I, I absolutely have no idea. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out just like you. But one thing you don't have to figure out is how to hit that subscription and that bell icon. That's how you can get up-to-date notifications anytime it's new content like this drops. So you can hang out with your boy Sintel. All right, all that extra stuff done. Let's go ahead and jump in to the book of Boba Fett. Oh, fat Jabba. If you want it, you'll have to kill me for it. Mm. Sleep lightly, bounty hunter. Ichigukaka. Yo, yo, and the and the dark chocolate Chewbacca. <laughs> yo, I'm I'm here for all the drama. I need this. What the heck is that blood it's carrying? No, which is always crazy to me. And here you see the businesses that were under the protection of the name that should not be spoken. You can say, Job. <laughs> the name who shall not be spoken. Word. One of your vassals seeks an audience with you. Do they have an appointment? <laughs> Cinnamon. I don't understand how he's able to rule all of this with only like four soldiers. <laughs> State your name and your business. I am North Appeal. I am a watermonger in the workers' district. A watermonger? Well, with apologies, okay. sir. No one respects you. Enough! I mean, it's not like he's got like a lot of strength. They are half man, half machine they modify their bodies with droid parts to make themselves even more deadly i i beseech you lord fed hmm. rid the streets of mos espa of this scourge and i will double my tribute to you wow you know there's some strings attached right Me and my two-man army. <laughs> we know who you are. Go back to your palace. Yo, see the way he looked at him? <laughs> you all should be working. There is no work, mighty Daimyo. Then you will work for me. They stole from me! And you're just going to let them off? He was sitting there listening the whole time? They owe you. 1,300 credits. Take the 500 and consider it resolved. If you want to continue to do business in my territory. Dang. The rest of you gather up your gag, follow me. All right, well, at least he's finally starting to get the gang together. Oh yeah, he gonna get his revenge. You can see it. But he took the money. <laughs> There's gonna be repercussions. Heads are gonna roll. The streets of Mos Espa. Damn, man. Dang. I didn't even see that dude. Yo, the camouflage was key. <laughs> My man's still in his hyperbaric chamber. His old man tank. That's where you go when you get Space sleep apnea. Yeah, man, that's when daddy dipped. Terrible. Django said, yo, I'm out of here. Good luck, kid. I like it when we go back in the past. Some of these stories are just way more fitting. He over here getting riding bontas like, like they Clydesdales. <laughs> look, look, he got his. <laughs> riding dirty with a banter.
Hmm. Please come in, have a seat. I wasn't expecting that voice. The Kintan Striders have already collected protection money for the same territory you lay claim to. Hmm. Sands have belonged to the Tuscans since the oceans dry. We are happy to do business with either party, but we do not want to be taken advantage of by paying protection to both. I'm sure you understand. I'm not mad at that. If you the baddest on the block, show it. You will not hear from the Nikto Sand Riders again. Dang. That thing moves like two miles an hour. How can you get anywhere? Oh man, somebody ran up on your spot, huh? Mm. Wow. They look like they killed everybody. Well, I don't see like the big gigantic tent that held like the elder slash leaders. So maybe some people survived. Maybe. Dang. Oh, uh, well, never mind. That is the elder's tent. But you know what, though? That might not be necessarily his tribe, though, also. It could be just a neighboring tribe. Ah, uh, maybe not. It's messed up. Oh, dang, you wake up to get choked out by a Wookiee. Good Lord. Man, where are your bodyguards? Dang. Yo, he took the hit though. I gotta give him that. Oh. Dang, my man's toes curled. He got hemmed up so hard. Yeah, just gonna let him out. Yo, you need to fire your help. Golly. Golly. I'm like, where were y'all at? Dang. Oh, it's too late to be squealing now. You should have been there. Damn. Golly. Stay back. Stomp on his hand or something. Damn, y'all got hemmed up. He had time to get his robe, though. The twins are here. They have brought a gift. Nah. You know it's gonna be disrespectful. Whatever this gift is. They still over here eating gerbils. At least they owned up to it. Yo, he really just dabbed the sweat off his chest with a rotin and tossed it to the side like it was old Kleenex. <laughs> Dang. Yo, they got another one of those things to put in the pit. How you just catch that? Yo, is that Dan Danny? It is. Yo, my man's still getting the work. <laughs> Welcome to the universe, fam. Huh. Promised by who? Hmm. What better do I that? Hmm. 
Well, at least you got another soldier. Release him. <laughs> you see the way the Wookiee looked at him? He said, release me. <laughs> A lot of feelings. Man, add him to the squad, man. Take it from an ex-bounty hunter. Don't work for skug holes. It's not worth it. Oh, he's out. Should have recruited him, man. I'll arrange a meeting with the mayor. Better hurry up and throw it in the pit. This beast can feel such things. Rancor are emotionally complex creatures. <laughs> really? They're quite peaceful and less threatened. Really? I would have never figured that. They form strong bonds with their owners. It is said that the witches of Dathomir even rode them through the forest and fens. I want to learn to ride this one. <laughs> Word? It will take a tremendous amount of discipline. We begin today. Damn. I mean, you ain't got nothing else better to do, like recruit soldiers, but you know, I'm here to see some dope Rancor riding. Look at this bonding moment, it's beautiful. All right, see, that's what I'm talking about. You gotta roll in with a squad. I advise you to weigh your next words carefully. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Don't kill him. I love his smugness. Actually, I need Actually. to- Actually. <laughs> rearrange some of the appointments that aren't as time sensitive as yours. Uh, so if you'll excuse me, I'll see what I mean. <laughs> did he just lock the door? He did. Well, that was easy. They got the whole squad out. Yeah, I'm loving the Star Wars slash cyberpunk look. <laughs> oh, that water. Oh. Where is he? He's with the Pikes. The mayor's gone. He, he's working with the Pikes. Is he? Hmm. Now that is a big starship. How many? I saw a dozen at least. They arrived on the Starliner. They're going to war. Then we will be ready. How? You got four soldiers! I know I keep going on and on about that, but it's just hard to believe that you could run a crime organization with so few staff. All right, let me go through some of these, uh, some of these pictures. You know, I love these pictures. Executive producers Robert Rodriguez still. These pictures are always hot. They got the little bike gang. Kerry Jones. Danny Trejo. I'm glad he made his appearance. <laughs> yo, the Huts was like, yo, we out of here. <laughs> That's just funny to me. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so that was episode three. Yeah, I mean, it's it seems to be kind of like on the same pace, on the same beat. Nothing overly done, nothing underly done. We got a chance to get a little bit more of his uh, backstory and to who he's going to be. It looks like his clan of, of sand people are dead. 
And it's a wrap. He's been anointed as being like their savior per se, their next up comeback to find that the Tatooine bike gang has destroyed everybody. It was, I guess it's supposed to be like a pretty touching scene. I wasn't completely like touched by it. I wasn't even sure if it was the same gang, but with him burning some of the keepsakes that he remembered from, from in the past, I think is a good way of confirming that, that it is that. And then we hop like right back into the future again and we get a chance to see him having problems, you know, <laughs> gaining respect. In the very beginning, you know, a guy shows up who's a water farmer, you know, hustles him pretty easy. He's like, yo, somebody's coming over here, not paying me what I owe. And then he comes to find out that the people that are under his watch and under his care are being taken advantage of by the same people who are asking for his help. So this is a good way of, of, of building up the army that he's going to need. I know you heard me complaining over and over again. It's just hard to believe that you can be like this crime boss syndicate and just have like four people working for you, but he's gaining his crew. The fight of him <laughs> fighting for his life with the Wookiee was pretty good because he got snatched out of his little healing chamber and got hands put on him. Which goes back to me saying again, you know, if you had your crew, how in the world did he even get in there in the first place? You got two big green guards sitting outside the gate and you didn't see this dude come in? I mean, he's a giant, like, seven foot Wookiee. He's kind of hard to miss. Whoops, the whole crew, they throw him in the Rancor pit. Come to find out that, you know, a Rancor is going to be coming into the Rancor pit. Thank you. A baby Rancor. We learned some new things about the Rancor species that they don't, that they don't have to be used strictly for fighting. That they can be, you know, a loving little lap dog big gigantic you know four thousand pound lap dog why not i'm here for it <laughs> it's gonna be cool to see boba fett in the future ride this rancor probably gonna be like the equivalent of like riding a dragon in a uh, game of thrones maybe not on the same level because rancors don't breathe fire but i'm sure they'll probably have like one more additional trick up its sleeve we're seeing that boba fett is having a like a really good attachment to the planet the culture its people its creatures so even though he may be a foreigner in a foreign land who comes from something completely different kind of like in dune you got somebody that came from a water rich planet that is coming to this desert planet and like Doom, this desert planet was once covered by water. You see, there's a lot of similarities between those two stories. Boba Fett is kind of like Muad'Dib and Dune. I mean, it's, it's almost the exact same thing. It really is. Like there's a lot of Dune comparisons with Muad'Dib and, and Dune, him, talking to the Fremen who were the settlers of the Dune planet, which are kind of like the sand people that are on Tatooine and him like earning the respect of the tribe and then going on to conquer bigger and better things like, like it is in Dune. So I wouldn't be surprised if, they, if that storyline maintains. Maybe the Rancor is Dune's version of the, the sandworms. So there's there's that as well. The chase sequence was just okay. It seemed like, here's the thing, like we've had so many really good car chase sequences within like the past decade that it's kind of hard to surpass the expectations. It did seem a little clunky with the, the cyberpunk-esque gang members that have joined Boba Fett's gang with the parts and all that. Very, very cyberpunk. It works, it's okay. The guy that that's so smug, that's like the, the mayor's secondhand man. He's funny. He kind of squealed really quickly. I wasn't expecting that. We did get a chance to see who who the mayor is working for and maybe that's probably going to tie back into the past with him fulfilling the deeds of giving protection to the planet and then he comes back home and finds that his people are dead mysteriously so it wouldn't be surprising to find out if the people that hired him in the beginning uh also told the bike faction that he was gone and then had his people destroyed and now the same folks are like coming back to take over the planet i'm thinking they're the same people maybe I hope so. <laughs> what do you think so far that you, uh, regarding the, the show? I mean, we're three episodes in. We've seen enough three hours worth of content to get a good idea of where the show is going to go. I don't think it's going to pass the expectations and the love that I had for Mandalorian, but it does offer something interesting. You know, it's the cross between the Godfather and Dune. So we'll see how that works out. What do you think it reminds you of? You know, let me know in the comments. Right, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's your boy Sintel with the Intel. Well, make sure you hit that subscription button and click the bell icon so that you can get up-to-date notifications when the next episode drops. And then we can all sit here and hang out together because that's what it's all about. It's all about, you know, kicking it with your boy. All right. With that being said, y'all, I'm out of here. Peace out.